we're working to protect Jamaica Bay. The horseshoe crabs that spawn here, the migratory shorebirds that migrate through here, and actually all the people that use the bay as well. We all are part of the community here, and we really are striving to make the bay a better place for wildlife and people. I think people find horseshoe crabs really fascinating. You know, they only spawn around the new and full moons at high tide from early May until early July. Each female can lay up to 80,000 eggs. Their spawning really coincides with the peak of shorebird migration. The shorebirds are coming through and are really depleted in their energy and fat stores because they've flown from as far away as southern South America and are heading toward the Arctic to their breeding grounds. And so it's really important for them to have this resource to feed on. There's this sort of spectacle of nature, which is really what it is out here, within the city limits of New York City, and it's, it's just amazing. We had developed a three-part curriculum where we go into schools, do a class on a basic ecology of the bay, and then we bring the kids out to the bay. We do a cleanup, we do some monitoring, we look at crabs, measure them, we look at any of the birds we see, we talk, you know, get them involved in that scientific side of things. Then they say, they're like, I can't believe there's so much garbage. And a lot of what we talk about, especially in the post clean up class is where is all that coming from and how do we actually reduce that? And we've also tried to reach out to audiences that we haven't typically involved in our conservation work. So for example, last year we reached out to the power boating community and this year we we're reaching out to the deaf and hard of hearing community. So the trainings that I've done have been interpreted for the deaf and we have interpreters out here on the beach when we um, have deaf people out. Deaf people are cut off from communication a lot and they don't often have opportunities like this. <laughs> oh my God. I want to learn more about the horseshoe crabs because honestly, I've never seen one. I just, I'd never heard of one before. So I went to your training and I learned about it. And it's just really wonderful that we had, have an interpreter and it's a great opportunity for us for the, and for the deaf community. It's wonderful. In my role as manager of citizen science, you know, my role really is to get people involved in our hands-on work. But so many people that have come out here are just, you know, they get things so much more if they're actually seeing it for themselves and they're actually, you know, touching the animals or getting measurements themselves or, or seeing what the relationships are between the animals. It's like a visceral thing for them and they just get it so much more if they're out here. And, you know, I would love to get Every New Yorker would be a bit crowded, but I would love to get every New Yorker out here to see this. And then we're done. Together Green has been such a fantastic program to be involved in. It's succeeding at creating this better group of conservation professionals. It allows us to do a lot of really cool stuff that we wouldn't have a chance to do otherwise. Well, I really want to say thank you for providing the funding for interpreters to give more access to people with disabilities to have a chance to do things they wouldn't normally have a chance to do. Go green! <laughs> well, I support you all the way. <laughs>